Okay, so uh, last time, I guess, uh, Kilua bonded with uh, Crystal and Kyrain, and um, the pairing was uh, revealed, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, chapter four is the last uh, chapter that was up at the time of um, this recording, so um, let's get started. Okay, chapter four of Crystal Hunter Hunter. A.N. I don't own Hunter Hunter. No, really? Talking. Thinking. Kyrain Pov. Wonder how they'll react, hen? Why are you talking about chickens? They realize I went ahead. The black-haired girl mused to herself as she ran towards her destination. Exam site number two. I, I forgot which one of them has black hair. Like, I, I, I guess I just... I didn't care enough to remember or something? I, I don't know. Ha ha ha! Tilled. Crystal probably lost herself. Wow, it takes talent to lose yourself. Knowing how bad her sense of direction is, when she doesn't want to go anywhere, she laughed softly as she sat down on a tree. On, on a tree. And put her headphones and Egan... Egan? Who's Egan? Her favorite song, Heavenly Blue, sung by Emily. I've never heard of it on her iPhone 6. You, you really don't have to keep reminding us that, like, like what model of mobile phone she has. I hope they get here soon, she trailed off as she closed her eyes but kept her guard up. Crystal Pav. Sigh, I'm lost, Crystal confirmed after running for an hour. Why did I have to get lost? Just when Hisoka is defeating the weaklings, whining in her head, and seriously getting lost in a clearing. This is so, tilled, troublesome. Maybe the Noggin Loggin tortoise will get her. After losing sight of Gon, Kilua, Kuropika, and Leorio. Uh, okay, that wasn't a complete sentence, but okay. Crystal found a tree and went to sit on the grass while searching in her bag for a cherry lollipop and a can of Coke. Truly a balanced meal. Sigh, it's so good. After opening the can and taking a slip of the cold drink. A, a slip. And putting her lollipop on her mouth. On, on her mouth. Just like. You just gotta love cherries, she moaned. You're twelve. Ew. When suddenly... Whoa! Crystal suddenly moved her head to the side and glanced with wide eyes to her left and saw a hearts card. Crap! She trailed off in realization. She, she scrambled to her feet. Gotta hide! Gotta hide! Gotta hide! Crystal froze for a moment and slumped against a tree. Oh, who cares? I'll die anyway. And licked her lollipop. That's the spirit. Oh, what do we have here? Hisoka questioned when he came closer and raised an eyebrow when he saw Crystal licking her lollipop. Bad vibes. Yo, Crystal greeted with the victory sign while thinking, Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Aren't you going to run away? Hisoka asked curious curiously. Nah, what's the point with you here? Crystal sneered elegantly. Can one sneer elegantly? And why do you say that? Hisoka curiously questions. You already used curiously. Like, find, find another adverb. You look like someone who can kill easily, Crystal bl bluntly says. Hisoka sweat dropped and shuffled his cards. Why are you here, then? I got lost, Crystal explained, bluntly shrugging. Why is everything bluntly? Like, how do you bluntly shrug? I got lost. Hey, can I come with you? I was about to ask, like, what the fuck is wrong with her, but, like, let's face it, sticking with Hisoka in that swamp is probably a pretty safe option, provided he doesn't want to kill you and you're also not a prepubescent boy. Hisoka just looked at her, being the first one who wasn't scared of him. Her mistake. Sure. Great! Crystal exclaimed. Phew, I got off lightly. He's cautious, that's good. I'll have to be unpredictable with him. No, I, I, I think you'd want to do the opposite. Meanwhile, Hisoka was looking at her by the corner of his eyes. He could kill her right now, but she doesn't even look worried. He decided to keep her alive for now. After Hisoka killed many participants and Crystal ate lollipops, you know, your typical Tuesday afternoon, they talked. Crystal talked while Hisoka listened and can't across Leorio and Kuropika. Can't across? 
what the hell does that mean? Like, I, I would hope you wouldn't cross Leorio and Kuropika, like, if that's what you mean. Hey, guys! Crystal waved at them. What? Why are you with him? Leorio screamed. That's one word. Leorio screamed. At Crystal, betrayed, while Kuropika widened his eyes. They don't really care. They don't know you. Also, I like how Kripika still has had zero lines in this whole thing. Oh, Crystal uttered, looking at Hisoka. I got lost. Hisoka just looked at them, amused while shuffling his cards. Oh, oh? That's all you can say? Leorio yelled the first part mockingly, and the rest feeling betrayed. Crystal just rolled her eyes while smiling sarcastically, ignoring the fact that it just made Leorio more mad. Leorio just attacked Hisoka with a piece of wood he found, and Hisoka dodged and tried to grab Leorio with a smirk on his face. How, how do you grab somebody with a smirk? Only to get hit by an apple by Gon. An apple? It was, it was a fucking fishing bobber. It was the thing at the end of his fishing pole. An apple? Really? Gon! Leorio said, surprised. Hisoka turned around. Not bad, little boy. Is that a fishing pole? What a fascinating... Is that a fishing pole? What a fascinating weapon. Pole what is one word. Gon just tightened his hold on his fishing pole and watched Hisoka. Crystal just watched. Because everybody's just watching. Excited, knowing what was going to happen next, Hisoka walked closer to Gon, extending his hand for the fishing pole. Leorio got up and yelled, Your fight is with me! and ran to Hisoka, only to get sucker punched and knocked out. Gone while. <laughs> gone while. Is that like meanwhile, but like only applying to gone? Hisoka was sucker punching. Lario tried to hit Hisoka, only for Hisoka to vanish. Wow, this is like... You really need to work on describing things. You came to rescue your friend, Hisoka questioned behind gone. Such a good boy. He continued, only to disappear again, while gone tried to hit him. And that expression, nice, very nice, I'm getting excited now, dodging while talking. Apparently he wasn't the only one since, like, Crystal said she was surprised, er, since Crystal said she was excited also earlier. Hisoka grabbed Gon by the neck and chuckled. How wonderful. Crystal started moving towards them, getting worried for Gon's sake. <laughs> for Gon's sake! Hisoka, get away from him, she ordered. <laughs> and then she died because Hisoka wouldn't be amused anymore. Hisoka turned to look at her, uncaring, with a smile on his face. Crystal, by no, was besides him. Let him go, she ordered again, glaring, and kicked him on the side to force him to let go of Gon. Yeah, because people can totally just walk up and kick Hisoka in the side. Yeah, that sounds legit. Gon was on his hands and knees, coughing. Don't worry, I will not kill your friend. He passed, he said. Who, Gon? Like... Ordinarily, that line is about Leorio, but... With Crystal standing beside Gon, rubbing his back, when Hisoka's phone beeped, Hisoka, you should get back here. We're nearly at the Phase 2 site, a voice said. Okay, I'll be right there, Hisoka responded. Crystal, comma, said, I'll go with you till we get to the exam site. Who? Hisoka or Gon? You, you still haven't made it clear, like, who you're talking to. And stood up. Gon just looked at her. Be careful. Crystal whispered, hugging him. Hisoka took Leorio with him and said, You can find your way back, right? And Gon nodded. That's a good boy. What? Is that Gon saying that's a good boy? You divided the dialogue into two paragraphs, so I'm really confused about who's talking. Hisoka walked away, leaving Gon looking at his back, breathing heavily. Kyrain Pav. Hmm? Kyrain opened her eyes as she sensed Crystal and Hisoka. I, I guess she went with Hisoka. Approving. Approving what? With Leorio on Hisoka's back. So it happens already. Nice, nice, she thought. Then proceeded to put away her phone and earphones and land in front of Hisoka. Land? Where, where was she, like, in a tree or something? Oh no, wait, pardon me. On a tree. Hmm? What's this little girl? Mused the clown. Nothing much, just thought I'd drop in, the blue-eyed girl said in the same tone. Oh, I see. Maybe I'll test you next time, though. <laughs> His, it, what he should have said is, too many females in one place kind of bums me out. Can't wait, Hisochan!
I'm, uh, I'm okay. <clears throat> Kyrene said, looking forward to fighting Hisoka. What the hell is wrong with you? Once Hisoka walked away, she turned to Crystal. Crystal glared at her. How long did it take you to arrive? Five minutes before me? Kyrene just stared, then slowly smiled. Ha ha ha, I was first! With tilts interspersed throughout. What do you think happened to me when I was gone? The dark blue haired... No, wait. The dark blue eyed girl just rolled her eyes. Nobody has blue hair, sadly. Whatever, I just saw Hisoka beat the crud out of Leorio and gone. Oh, and how was that? Kyrene curiously questioned. It was more intense. It definitely is different from the anime, Crystal thoughtfully answered. Yeah, because you guys keep fucking things up. Come on, we can't lose any more time, Crystal said to Kyrene. Okie! Stop using that non-word. And off they went, the weird friends to the next exam site. That was a really strange sentence structure. Not noticing someone looking at them, watching. Almost like how you guys used to watch all these characters a year ago. Mm. Please review. Hope you like it. And mention if something is wrong. Like, do you want a list? As I'm new at this. No, really? Black eye red. And that's it. That's that's all there is for now. So, um, thanks for listening slash watching. Uh, and, um, happy Halloween!